Hello everyone. Today we are going to see note making and summary writing. Students, first we have to know what is meant by note. Note is a brief record of points or ideas written down as an aid to memory. Now let's see why should we make notes. Notes help you to remember the information you have gathered then notes come in handy for making quick revision before exams then lengthy lessons can be condensed here condensed means brief or short so lengthy lessons can be brief into short relevant pieces by making notes next Notes help in understanding the text better. So students, why make notes? To have a record of the speaker's or writer's main ideas. Not to take down or copy every word. Then, to help one's memory when revising. For example, before an examination. Then, to make the speaker's or writer's views a part of your own knowledge. Now, we are going to see definition of note making. Note making is the practice of recording information captured from another source. By taking notes, the writer records the essence of the information, freeing their mind from having to recall everything now let's see what is meant by note making note making is a way of recording important details from a source this source can be any book article meeting or any oral discussion in note making the writer records the essence of the information it helps us to understand and clarify thinking. Note making saves a lot of time by going through the notes made. One can get a glimpse of a lot of information from a short note. Now we are going to learn advantages of note making. A note making is a skill which improves by practicing here skill refers to writing skill so a note making is a writing skill which improves by practicing there are some advantages of note making let us get to know some of them the first advantage is that it has great importance in exams or in academic writing the second advantage is that it is an organization of main points for future use the third advantage is that note making helps in keeping the information handy whenever we require let's see some more advantages of note making it helps in recollecting and recalling the past events said or heard. It helps in concentrating, understanding and provides a permanent record. Then, note making format helps a writer to go through bulky documents quicker. Here, bulky means large. So, Note making format helps a writer to go through large documents quicker. The next advantage is that it helps in understanding a material if the notes are in own words. Then it distinguishes between main points and details. Next we are going to learn characteristics of good notes. The first characteristic is that short and compact. So, good notes must be short and compact. 
the second characteristic is complete information so they must contain all the important information the third characteristic is logical so they must be presented in a logical way the fourth characteristic is understandable so they should be understandable when consulted at a later stage next we are going to see mechanics of note making while making notes we follow certain standard practices these may be listed as follows a heading and subheadings b abbreviation and symbols c note form d numbering and indentation the first one is heading and subheadings the heading reflects the main theme whereas the subheadings point out how it has been developed the second one is abbreviations and symbols these are essential components of note making here essential means important or vital so these are important components of note making at least four recognizable abbreviations are to be used in note making section a symbols under this we have universal symbols and mathematical symbols under mathematical symbols we have and symbol for and three dot for therefore then three dot for because i e for that is percentage symbol for percent hundred in number for hundred e g for for example v a e z for namely then we have mathematical symbols greater than symbol for greater than equal to symbol for equal to at the rate symbol for at the rate of less than symbol for less than or symbol for or before symbol for before section b abbreviations abbreviations can be divided into three groups acronyms contractions short forms acronyms means capital initial letters contractions means taking first few letters of the word short forms means taking first few and last few letters now let's see one by one in detail study the following examples the first one is acronyms that is capital initial letters examples cbse for central board of secondary education co for commanding officer cm for chief minister gpo for general post office ncert for national council of educational research and training pm for prime minister sho for station house officer sp for superintendent of police uk for united kingdom usa for united states of america UNO for United Nations Organization UNESCO for United Nations Educational Scientific and Cultural Organization WHO for World Health Organization so these are all the examples for acronyms next we are going to learn contractions contractions means taking first few letters of the word now let's see some examples for contractions c a p t dot for captain 
सीओ डॉट फॉर कंपनी सीओ एल डॉट फॉर कर्नल डी एस डॉट फॉर डिस्काउंट ई एस पी डॉट फॉर एस्पेशली एफ आई जी डॉट फॉर फिगर एच ओ एन डॉट फॉर हॉनररी आई एन डॉट फॉर इंच एल ए बी डॉट फॉर लेबोरेटरी एल आई बी डॉट फॉर लाइब्रेरी आर ई वी डॉट फॉर रेवरेंट एस सी डॉट फॉर साइंस एस ई पी टी डॉट फॉर सेप्टेंबर एस आई जी डॉट फॉर सिग्नेचर एस ओ सी डॉट फॉर सोसाइटी टी सी एच डॉट फॉर टेक्निकल टी एल डॉट फॉर टेलीग्राम टी एल ई डॉट फॉर टेलीफोन यू एन आई वी डॉट फॉर यूनिवर्सिटी सो दिस आर ऑल द एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर कॉन्ट्रैक्शन नेक्स्ट वे आर गोइंग टू लर्न शॉर्ट फॉर्म्स शॉर्ट फॉर्म्स मीन्स टेकिंग फर्स्ट एंड लास्ट लेटर्स लेट्स सी सम एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर शॉर्ट फॉर्म्स बी के फॉर बुक डी आर फॉर डॉक्टर डी एफ टी फॉर ड्राफ्ट डी पी टी फॉर डिपार्टमेंट ई एस टी डी फॉर एस्टाब्लिश एफ टी फॉर फूड और फीड जी ओ वी टी फॉर गवर्नमेंट एल टी डी फॉर लिमिटेड एम आर फॉर मिस्टर एम एस फॉर मिस और मिसिस ओ आर जी अफर्स्टी इज इट एन फॉर organization pt for point retd for retired rel gn for religion rec apostrophe d for received ssh d for should std for standard stn for station se cy for secretary wt for weight Y R for year, Y D for yard. Next, we are going to see some other contractions like A slash C for account, B L D G for building, B K S for books, C A N apostrophe T that is count for cannot, C A V A L apostrophe is it. N for civilization, C M for centimeter, C slash O for care of, M S for manuscript, E D N for education, K G for kilogram, M for meter, N slash A for not applicable, R D N G for reading. एस एच ए एन अफोस्ट्रफी टी फॉर शेल नॉट डब्ल्यू ओ एन अफोस्ट्रफी टी दट इज ओंट फॉर विल नॉट एम स्लैश एस फॉर मिसर्स नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू सी यूज ऑफ फुल स्टॉप इन एन अब्रिविएशन ए Often a full stop is put after an abbreviation which does not end with the last letter of the word such as col dot for kernel div dot for division co dot for company in fo for information b the abbreviations that end with the last letter of the word do not require any full stop at the end such as go vt for government ms for miss dr for doctor 10th for 10th mr for mr pt for pandit W R T apostrophe G for writing, W T for weight. Students note 
confusing abbreviations should be avoided example the abbreviation under may stand for understand understood and understanding similarly indst may stand for industry industrial industrious so confusing abbreviations should be avoided next let's see note form while making notes the whole information is listed in note form in points only notes should not be written in complete sentences as we can't remember the whole information so only the main points are listed one under the other and numbered it implies the logical division and subdivision of the listed information by using figures letters dashes and spaces all examples and figurative speeches are eliminated next we are going to see numbering and indenting under this we have indentation so what is mean by indentation indentation means leaving space at the beginning of a line of print or writing first write the title and then write down the notes in a logical order from the main headings to the subheadings the numbering should be spaced a little to the right students here we can see two intended formats in the first format we can see main sections sub sections sub sub sections in main sections we can write 1 2 3 4 etc in sub sections we can write a b c d etc in sub sub sections we can write 1 2 3 4 etc or you may use another intended format that is decimal system here also we can see main sections sub sections sub sub sections in main sections we can write 1 2 3 4 etc in sub sections we can write 1.1 1.2 2.1 2.2 2.3 etc in sub sub sections we can write 1.1.1 1.1.2 2.1.1 etc so students you can use the first format or the second that is decimal system next we are going to see the procedure of note making first read the passage provided then underline the important sentences it helps to make headings and subheadings then make a rough note first so as to get an idea next organize them in logical order or sequence for the final note then use the appropriate note making format then do not change the idea or the message of the passage next let's see points to remember for note making format avoid using long sentences as heading or title never lose the main idea of the passage then ignore information which is less important next be brief clear and specific then use logical sequencing next use proper indentation then leave no spaces to avoid confusion then do not include your own version or understandings use abbreviations then make your note more memorable by adding colors drawings and symbols next we are going to see note making format there is a fixed note making format one needs to follow this note making format in order to have a clear and unambiguous understanding from it 
Here, unambiguous means clear or explicit understanding from it. The note making format as heading. It shows the title or the heading of note. Next, subheading. As the name suggests, a subheading is a subdivision of the main topic. One can use as many subheadings as he or she wants. Next, we have point. Below subheading, there are some points which are the part of the main topics. Then, we have sub-subheading. One can add more headings below the points for showing the category, types, advantages, etc. Then, we have key or keywords. The key portion of the note shows the various codes, symbols or the abbreviation used. It helps to get a clear understanding of the keys used in the note making format. After key or keywords, which means after completing key to abbreviations, write the word summary and give the same title to it as the main passage. Then use points that is notes to write the summary. Next we are going to see the short procedure of note making. First read the text for an overall idea that is for heading. Then reread the passage for important points that is for subheading. Then jot down the supporting points that is for points or sub points. Then finally arrange the points in a sequence that is draft. Next we are going to see note making format. Students, this is your note making format. First, you have to write heading or title. Under this, we have first subheading. Under first subheading, you have to write two points. Then, we have second subheading. Under second subheading, you have to write two points. Under two points, you have to write two sub points then we have third subheading under third subheading you have to write two points next we are going to see how to write note making follow the following steps step number 1 read the passage carefully then try to get the theme and subject of the passage you may ask yourself, what is this passage about? This will provide you the gist. Step number 2. Read carefully, identify main ideas and important supporting details. Step number 3. Make notes of the main ideas under headings and add sub points under subheadings. Step number 4. Use proper format. Finally, step number 5. Use recognizable abbreviations wherever possible. Next, we are going to see an example of note making. Now, let's read the passage. There are many different kinds of musical instruments. They are divided into three main classes according to the way they are played. For example, some instruments are played by blowing air into them. These are called wind instruments. In some of these, the air is made to vibrate inside a wooden tube and these are said to be of the woodwind family. The examples of this family are the flute, the clarinet and the basson. 
other instruments are made of brass the trumpet and the horn or the examples there are also various other wind instruments such as the mouth organ and the back pipes some instruments are played by banging or striking them one obvious example is the drum of which there are various kinds instruments like this are called percussion instruments the last big group of instruments are the ones which have strings there are two main kinds of stringed instruments those in which the music is made by plucking the strings and those where the player draws a bow across the strings examples of the former are the harp and the guitar and that of the later are the violin and the cello students here is a sample note making for you i have given the title as musical instruments below that i have written the word notes in the first paragraph i have written the subheading is kinds of musical instruments and below that i have written three points like wind in st dot flute then percussion in st dot then stringed instruments here i have used abbreviation like in st dot that is for instruments then under three points i have written two sub points like made by plucking the strings next sub point is that the player draws a bow across the strings in the second paragraph also i have written the subheading is how to play it and below that i have written two points like by blowing air then by banging or striking here another important thing that you have to remember is intending intending is nothing but giving numbers to your subheadings and your points both should never fall in one line students look at the points i have given for the subheadings they are slightly inside compared to the subheading so students this is very important remember this is how your notes should look once you have completed writing the notes for all the paragraphs below that you have to write the key to abbreviations here i have used only one abbreviation like inst dot for instruments after completing key to abbreviations you have to write summary next we are going to see rules for summary writing before that we have to know what is mean by a summary a summary is a record in a reader's own words that gives the main points of a piece of writing such as a newspaper article the chapter of a book or even a whole book now let's see rules for summary writing the first rule is do not exceed word limit given in the exam so word limit should be 60 to 70 words second rule is summary is made out of notes and not the passage third rule is do not divide the summary in different paragraphs rule number 4 do not use abbreviations in summary fifth rule is write complete grammatically 
correct sentences. Rule number six, try to follow the order of the notes as far as possible. Students, after completing key to abbreviations, you will be writing the summary with the help of the notes that you have formed. Once you write the summary, you have to write the word summary on top and along with the word summary, don't forget to give the same title that you have used for the main passage. Students, here I have given the same title as Musical Instruments. Now let's see summary. There are many different kinds of musical instruments. They are divided into three main classes like wind instruments that is flute, percussion instruments and stringed instruments. How to play it? By blowing air and banging or striking. Stringed instruments by plucking the strings and banging or striking. So, students, this is how you have to write the summary. So, students, as a whole, note making is a useful skill. You must develop it with constant practice. Notes form an essential part of your academic life and will serve you well in your school or board examinations. I have enclosed the classwork instructions in the PDF. Kindly refer it. So now, we have reached the end of this session. Thank you.